Hi guys. Well, I don't know what happened to our bright, sunny, beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. It seems to have clouded over here suddenly on, uh, what is it, Sunday, August 15th, 2021, somewhere in there. So anyway, guys, being Sunday, it was supposed to be my doomsday sermon today and I had all picked out several of you guys had sent me this long thing from uh, was it Vox magazine about methane it's time to start freaking out about methane and so I was I had that one all set and then I uh, but after reading it guys I, I think we all know it's time to start freaking out about methane. There, you know, there wasn't really anything new in there that I haven't been sitting here saying for years. I just didn't have the heart for it. And uh, then I thought about uh, responding to a comment by Book Hermit, our old friend Book Hermit. Uh, I don't have the comment called up, but Book Hermit made the astounding comment today that climate change will only affect ecosystems in the Arctic and that climate change will have no impact on tropical ecosystems. So I told Book Hermit that apparently one of us uh, is confused uh, so I went and uh, I googled climate change effects on tropical rainforest and got 6,460,000 hits. Here's page one in case Book Hermit is unaware of this. Let's see, here is climate change in the Amazon. Here is drought floods, climate change, and forest loss, uh, you know, in the age of climate change. Here is rainforest scientists concerned climate change is altering, you know, tropical ecosystems. Here is climate change consequences on rainforest. Here is loss of tropical forests make climate change worse. Here is how does the climate affect the ecosystem of the rainforest. Here is plain old, from good old mongabay.com. You might have heard of mongabay.com around here. Climate change threatens rainforests. Uh, here is effects of, guys, anyway, Book Hermit, come on, brother. You know, as I told Book Hermit, I understand that it is that humans and bulldozers directly affecting the Amazon rainforest are a bigger threat to the uh, Amazon rainforest and every other tropical forest. It is bulldozers and uh, gasoline with matches behind them that are in chainsaws uh, that are a the immediate threat to the tropical ecosystems, but 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 book hermit, come on, you know you're taking it a little too far. Uh, you know goddamn well, book hermit, that that climate change is going to uh, turn the Amazon rainforest into a savanna, and then from a savanna into the desert. Uh, I I anyway. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, I love these articles, a bunch of them on the mainstream media. I guess the newest one is about coyote attacks. It, 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 you know, when you thought you'd heard it all, uh, now they're fear-mongering with coyote attacks. It, it, you know, like coyotes are, are going to be able to sneak up on you. Now, the little dog could be eaten by a coyote, uh, but anyway, 
enough of that nonsense about coyote attacks. So anyway, guys, uh, what I did land on today for the few people that are interested is looking at uh, Mad Max rolling out in Lebanon. We're going to go over to Lebanon. I think we've been over to Lebanon fairly recently, but what several articles are talking about is Lebanon ending fuel subsidies. One of the big things you're hearing about this code red for humanity. This is another thing, guys. Uh, is, is anybody else there as sick as I am hearing the words code red for humanity? Uh, it is code dead for humanity, all right? code dead. It was code red for humanity 30 years ago, and there's this unbelievable hopium and all of that. So uh, if I read one more, uh, th there was some article about how we're going to save the planet by raising sheep, raise more sheep to uh, get us out of code red for humanity. So anyway, I just can't stand it anymore. Uh, there, there's some mistake that Collapse Chronicles is a climate change channel. I'm really not a climate change channel. I would like to be to put climate change in, in perspective. Uh, you know that it's one ninth of what my, my channel is. If if I had to. Uh, is it what, what Collapse Chronicles is an overpopulation channel, I guess. If I had to put one word, if I had to sum up Collapse Chronicles in one word, it would be overpopulation, which is the root cause of climate change. And uh, but one spinoff from the climate change things is this exciting uh, concept of fuel subsidies, uh, particularly fossil fuel subsidies, how we need to stop subsidizing fossil fuels and let the price of gasoline be honestly reflected. If we were, if, if governments all over the world were not subsidizing fossil fuels to keep their profit margin up. Uh, that is the first and easiest step to save the planet. So I think we have a, I think it was ending fossil fuel subsidies. Can you say yellow vest? What's the French word for yellow vest? But we're gonna look at a couple of stories out of Lebanon to what it will look like when you end fossil fuel subsidies. Fuel explosion in Lebanon kills 20, wounding dozens. A warehouse where fuel was illegally stored exploded in northern Lebanon early Sunday, killing 20 people and burning dozens more in the latest tragedy to hit the Mediterranean country in the throes of a devastating economic and political crisis. It was not immediately clear what caused the explosion near the border with Syria. Uh, fuel smuggling operations have been ongoing there for months. Uh, the Lebanese Red Cross said a fuel tanker exploded and its teams received 20 bodies from the site in the border village at Talil. Uh, it evacuated 79 people who were injured or suffered burns in the blast. Um, hours later, the Lebanese and these Red Cross were still searching the area for more victims as Lebanese soldiers cordoned the area. Uh, a Lebanese military official said the explosion occurred after the army confiscated the confiscated a warehouse where about 15,000 gallons of gasoline were stored 
and the order was given to distribute the fuel to residents of the area, the residents had gathered to acquire the scarce commodity available only on the black market at exorbitant prices or not at all. Uh, it was not clear, you know, what set off the explosion uh, of the 15,000 gallons of, uh, of gasoline. Uh, a young man standing nearby cried, We will get, go to your homes and burn you there. A reference to Lebanon's political leaders blamed for decades of corruption and mismanagement that has led the country to bankruptcy. Um, let's see. One here is one person being interviewed at the hospital. Quote: Some people were burned beyond recognition. They are the victims of the shortcomings and carelessness of our politicians who led us to this, close quote. Uh, a nighttime video circulating online showed residents gathered at the site before the explosion filling up gallon gallon jugs and stuff with fuel. We have seen these explosions before, uh, you know, where people risking their lives to get, uh, to get their hands on a gallon of gasolines. G gasoline. The explosion comes as Lebanon faces a severe fu fuel shortage that has been blamed on smuggling, hoarding, and the cash-strapped government's inability to secure deliveries of imported fuel. The shortages have paralyzed the country, long dependent on private generators to light up their homes, and now most of those generators have now, been, have now turned off their engines because of the crippling diesel shortages. Uh, the American University Medical Center said Saturday it may be forced to shut down in less than 48 hours due to fuel shortages which would threaten the lives of its critically ill patients. Uh, it was not immediately clear if the fuel in the tanker was being prepared to be smuggled to Syria, where prices are much higher compared to those in Lebanon. Uh, the fuel crisis deteriorated dramatically this week uh, after the central bank decided to end subsidies for fuel products, a decision that will likely lead to price hikes for almost all commodities in Lebanon already in the throes of soaring poverty and hyperinflation. On Saturday, Lebanese troops deployed were deployed to gas stations forcing owners to sell fuel to customers. Some gas station owners have been refusing to sell waiting to make gains when prices increase with the end of subsidies. Uh, the Lebanese army has also been cracking down on s smugglers along the Syrian border, confiscating thousands of gallons of gasoline over the past days. Uh, Anyway, so several of us have for the bigger picture from AP. <coughs> Anger in Lebanon over central bank ending fuel subsidies. 
There you go. Protesters closed. This is in addition to that explosion. This story came out right before the explosion, killing 20 people. Protesters closed roads in different parts of Lebanon on Thursday, angry over the central bank's decision to end subsidies for fuel products. The decision was likely to lead to a hike in prices of almost all commodities amid a paralyzing economic crisis. Uh, outgoing Prime Minister Hassan Diab described the decision by the central bank's governor as, quote, irresponsible and illegal. Yes, many gas stations were closed Thursday, with some experts predicting that fuel prices would increase fivefold in a country where over half of the uh, over half of the population already cannot afford gasoline, and we're looking at the price of gasoline. What a surprise! Going up five times this this upcoming week. Now that the fuel fossil fuel subsidies have ended, and what are you going to have? You're going to have Mad Max. Uh, when uh, the, the price of fuel goes up five times. Um, the move to end subsidies had been anticipated for months as the bank's reserves dry up. Uh, but on Thursday, politicians distanced themselves and criticized the central bank uh, meanwhile, several major roads were closed by angry protesters uh, in the southern village of Zarani. A motorist trying to plow through protesters drove over one person and seriously injured him. Yep, yep. Uh, There you go. Uh, just taking a look at, you know, if, if people, you know, wanting to see the, the more near term, uh, what, what collapse is going to look like, uh, you better believe that ending fossil fuel subsidies will be a major trigger for Mad Max. Uh, I, I think a lot of people are unclear that the moral of the story in the road, am I the only person who, who figured this out? It, it, it was stated very subtly by Cormac McCarthy, the winner, the quote, winner of the survivors in the road were those who had fossil fuels, uh, you know, whenever, whatever the trigger was that, you know, triggered global, it was never explained uh, exactly, it was assumed to be a nuclear war is what triggered the, you know, started off the story in the road, uh, but a, a recurring theme throughout that book was every survivor, the number, there, there were two things that they were looking for. They were looking for food and they were looking for fossil fuels. And at the end of the book, it was the, the survivors who aligned with them, themselves with people hoarding fossil fuels. Uh, th these tiny little remnants of civilization uh, that were, were barely holding together uh, after the collapse of global industrial civilization were those people who uh, had fossil fuels. Uh, you know, anybody claiming that this global industrial civilization 
is going to wean themselves off fossil fuels and that all of these governments propping up uh, big oil uh, are, are just magically going to end fossil fuel subsidies. Well, this is what's going to happen when you end fossil fuel subsidies. It's called Mad Max. Anyway, I have to go try to find some coyotes sneaking up on me and get out to my organic garden and make a big old batch of salsa. They, I'm probably going to go pick about 30 pounds of these gorgeous vine ripe tomatoes. So I got the tomatoes and the onions, got s and the cilantro. I got some poblano peppers, but my habaneros just didn't didn't happen this summer. So I might have to go out and uh, go to some store and get a few hot peppers. But I'm going to sprinkle a few drops of Osama Number no. Five's Top Shelf Seven Sisters hot sauce into my. Uh, into my hot sauce and I assure you I will have some salsa but I highly suggest you get out there and make some salsa while you still can before fossil fuel subsidies are ended and Mad Max begins in earnest. You see a chippy or what? Now don't be, don't go out there you never know where the coyote, they say that there's coyotes sneaking up on us, but uh, it's broad daylight. There's not going to be any coyotes out here today. I mean, Lord, what is the mainstream media going to think of next to scare us all? Bye, guys.